for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel of our reshuffle and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person we'll find out what's coming up we'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is so cancer the recent past energy for you and your person well we got the chariot and it's with the eight of cups the chariot, it actually indicates a lot of energy, but it's not a free for all energy. It's actually directed, controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So when you get this card in your reading, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes, what your dreams involve, and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Now, this card, it can point to being determined and really ambitious. It's about getting things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. It is a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in your mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. But you're going to have to remember, though, you have to use both your intellect and your heart. in order to truly be successful. So, it's with the Eight of Cups. Now this card, it often means that you choose to leave a situation that's no longer working. It could be a relationship, a job, a neighborhood. There could be some sadness involved. But, the separation, it's in your best interest. You have to know that renewed good times, they lie ahead for you. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, a job, or a living arrangement, trust yourself. So, instead of the this news coming out of the blue, or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you're the one who will make the choice. Just know that often one door has to close behind before the next door in front of you can fully open. So basically, recent past energy between you and your person, clar uh, chariot clarified by this Eight of Cups. So Cancer, it looks like something got out of control. Yeah, with this chariot here. You or your person you didn't, something, something, maybe a person wanted something to happen right away, but they didn't use their head and their heart. Like I said, you have to use both for this chariot to, for it to do what it's supposed to do. Because the chariot goes really fast, maybe 150 miles an hour. And if you know what that's like, it's easy to fall over, become imbalanced, and just, just things go really haywire. So, something happened. Maybe it's possible that you or your person was tempted to go too far, too fast. Or maybe someone or some situation was pressuring you that way and it looks like maybe you didn't set your boundaries and your preferences with yourself or with this person so anyway yeah it just it just went too fast I'm just looking at the chariot it goes fast, and it's, it's not that big, so for it to be going that fast, it could actually have a collision if you don't use your heart and your head. Now, because of whatever happened that probably got out of control, it left you feeling like walking away or maybe leaving the connection behind. You feel like things 
things have gotten sour. Things have gotten sour between you and your person. Yet, whatever this was, I wish I could tell you what it was. Yeah, but I can't. <laughs> I, I'm just reading the cards. Something got out of control. And it left a, it could have just left a bitter taste in your mouth. Yeah, maybe your person was just pressuring you too fast to do something. And you, you kind of felt like you should walk away. Yeah. So I don't know if you did it. And then you were thinking about walking away. Or when they asked you to do it. You walked away. So. That's what I'm getting for the recent past energy for you and your person. Let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Well, we got the Queen of Pentacles, and it's with the Four of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles can indicate that you might be spending money, time, energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. This is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt, because people could be looking to you for insight or advice. You could be able to help them. If you decide to do so, it's also a time period when you can get a whole lot accomplished. Now, it's with the Four of Swords. Well, uh, this card, it's actually it's showing that there's a need for a break. Yep, could be from normal life, a person, or a situation. This can also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. The withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It also can mean just time away. Examples of time away in the hospital, in jail, time away. When, but you go away and then you come back. Those are examples only. It's definitely a signifier to give people their space. You could be needing some time and space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, you might want to take them at their word. And I say this because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Yeah, that's the Four of Swords. If you look at the picture of the Four of Swords, it's the card below the word present. You see how this man, it looks like he went to the top of the mountains. He took his four dogs with him and four swords and a candle and maybe a match or a lighter. He surrounded himself so with the swords and his dogs. And he'll use them, the swords, he'll pull them out if he has to. Because he doesn't want to be bothered. And he doesn't plan on... Um, he plans on being there overnight, obviously, because it looks looks like he lit a candle in his shoe right below his foot. So he's planning to be there overnight or maybe a couple of days. Yeah, because this withdrawal is not permanent. This person does come back. So, Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Four of Swords. That's what's coming up for you can't for a lot of you cancers. So just to break it down to you, yeah, because you you walked away from this connection, something happened that got out of control. Or it just went too fast. And it just messed up something. So you walked away, or it looks like you're thinking about walking away. Because the Queen of Pentacles, she actually, she falls back. And she takes comfort in the ordinary things. Like that, like the Queen of Pentacles is a card above the word present. You see how she's sitting, sitting in her backyard, in her lounge chair. And she's got her dog at her feet, keeping her toes warm. She, she, she's realizing that she's doing pretty good. She's got money in the bank. That's a huge pinnacle that she's cuddling in her hand. When you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that actually means money, cash, coins, finance, income. So she's kind of smiling. She's 
feeling good about what's in the bank. Her, like I said, her dog is happy. She's home. The squirrels, they're glad she's back so that she can feed them. So, it looks like you might decide to just take comfort in the ordinary things because whatever happened in the recent past with you and your person, it's showing that you just need a break. Yeah, because you're thinking about actually walking away. And it looks like that's what you do. Yeah. You fall back. You take comfort in the ordinary things. Things that you probably did before you met this person. And there is a need for some rest. Yeah, it's showing rest after a struggle. So, whatever happened that got out of control with you and your person, it made you feel like it was a big struggle. So, you fall back and you take a break. Your person might feel like you ghosted them. Yeah, they probably think that you, you just up and left. But let's see what's coming up for the challenge. Now we got the Three of Pentacles. And it's with the Nine of Cups. Now the Three of Pentacles is very positive. Especially when it comes to work or career. But it's good overall. It means that you're, um, it means you're doing really well. Three of Pentacles. It tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts. And they notice the quality of work you do. Even if you're not getting paid. This three of pentacles. It says keep what you keep doing what you're doing. Because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement. But you will not have to scrap something and then start again. You will not. Now. It's paired with the Nine of Cups, which is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's actually known as the Wish Card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a, in a brief period of time. Now, the appearance of this card is about happiness, good things to come. It also usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. So if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this card is the most powerful indicator of yes. So basically your challenge, three of pentacles clarified by the nine of cups. Well, Cancer, it looks like your person. Hmm. They seek out to find you. They are trying to trying to figure out where you went. So they, it looks like they, this person, they find you in your backyard. Somewhere with your dog, feeding the squirrels. He pulls you over to the side and he's trying to let you know that... He's trying to he's showing you what he does, and you're at you're at a, you're amazed. You're at an awe because if you see the picture of this card, the Three of Pentacles, this man he's standing up. Three of Pentacles is a card above the word challenge. He's standing up and he's showing these people that are kneeling down at his feet. He's showing them what he does. He's, he's trying to impress them. And they're looking up at this man like, wow. So anyway, your person, he pulls out some tricks out of his bag. You're impressed. He's showing you something. He's showing you what he has to offer. Could be teamwork, collaboration. He's showing you some skill. He's showing you that he has quality. Yeah, some benefits could be a lot of things. 
Maybe he's showing you that he's a good lover. Maybe you forgot about that. So, he could be trying to impress you. Now, with the Nine of Cups clarified by this Three of Pentacles, your person finds you to be a wish come true. They feel very blessed and satisfied to have you. This person has a very strong desire for you with this Nine of Cups showing up here. So that's that's really cute. <laughs> that's really cute. I, I like that. So your person sees that you, you have fallen back from them. So they come looking for you. They're like, where is my cancer? <laughs> I haven't seen her in days. So they go looking for you and find you in the backyard. And so your person is trying to impress you. Let you know that they have things to offer. Maybe they're going to put you on their... It could be. This is an example. Because the Three of Pentacles is about some benefits. Now, maybe they're going to show you their 401k and put you on their 401k. Maybe all of a sudden they decide to put you on their life insurance policy. Those are examples. I don't know what they're doing to try to impress you or what they're going to do. But, it's good. And your person sees you as their wish come true. So they would do that. Yes, they would. But let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got the King of Cups. And we got the High Priestess. Now, the King of Cups, it actually speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive, positive qualities for both Masculine and feminine. Now, if this is an actual person or man in your life, it does refer to a very kind and loving individual. They could have hair and eyes on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get this card in the reading. Now, the King of Cups... Like I said, it's about kindness and compassion. There is an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, when you get the King of Cups. Just know when you see the King of Cups and the, and or the Queen of Cups in a reading, those are, the, those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. Queen and King of Cups. They don't have to be yet together, but... It's all about love when you see those two cards. So, nurture yourself and allow your person to nurture you when you see these two cards. Yep. Now, it's paired with the High Priestess. The High Priestess can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. She's tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. This can actually be a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's important to pay attention to your dreams now. Pay attention. You might want to keep a dream diary or a journal. It's going to be a good idea. Yeah, it can be a magical, mystical time with the high priestess showing up. Yeah, you could find people literally throwing themselves at you. Now, the problem with that is that you're going to attract all kinds. You'll attract the good. You'll attract the bad. And what's that movie say? The ugly. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And it's not always easy to tell which is which. Yeah. So basically, Cancer, the outcome, King of Cups, clarified by the High Priestess. Okay, so, like I said, wow, Cancer, you got, um, yeah, your person, they impressed you. They showed you some things, they said some things. 
They can't, they went looking for you and found you. And they impressed you. I don't know what they told you. Like I said, maybe they put you on their 401k or impressed you with, by being a good lover. Maybe they did some tricks you didn't know they had. Could be. So, the outcome is that you, yeah, you offer this person your cup of love. And you, 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 you're going to be realizing how much you're attracted to this person. Yeah, so that's really cute. Yeah, I like the outcome. You offer your cup of love, your person, they come running after you. They find you. Yeah, they realize you're their wish come true. So, it's good. You, I guess you like, maybe you like that they came and found you. Yeah, they just didn't let things fall apart. So, you offer the cup of love. And like I said, you realize how much you're really attracted to your person. Or maybe you, you offer the cup of love. And then there's just a whole lot of attraction there. Yeah, for you and your person, it's, it's like they're looking at you and you're looking at them. And the attraction is really strong. But that's a good outcome. I like that. So, Cancer, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when i post my next reading i will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where i'll go over how you both feel about the situation what's in the near future for the two of you how you see yourself best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks there's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those So, Cancer, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass, and we're all going to get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Do keep in mind that if you're not romantically involved with anyone uh, you could be dealing with a family member or a friend or this could be a situation so take the readings for however it resonate because they're general readings they're not personal readings so cancer I can never say it enough I thank you so very much for watching I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care. Day and take care. Day and take care. Day.